sheet here. I've got one, two, three, four chicken legs. That's the leg with the thigh with the back attached. We've got some pumpkin. We've got a couple carrots, uh, a bell pepper, a red bell pepper, any bell pepper. I've got one, two onions that I just sliced in half. You will notice the skin is still on it. That's just to protect it. And in between, I've got garlic. This has been mixed. Well, you can see it's been tossed in olive oil, sea salt, and black pepper. That is it. And I know, I know, you turn to behavior, you know, they're probably saying, hey, where the seasoning? Later on, we're going to season properly. But for now, all we need is salt and black pepper. It's going to go into the oven. It's going to roast 375 degrees on the middle rack. We want everything to develop a nice color and pull out all those flavors and stuff like that. The skin is just going to protect it, protect the onion. The skin on the carrot is still there, but I gave it a good wash. It remained in the oven for 55 zero minutes. We've got some beautiful color on the pumpkin. The carrot is roasted, the pepper is roasted. The chicken has taken on some color. The onion, the garlic, everything is nice and charred. What we want to do is to tip the pan here, the tray, and get some of the oil from the bottom there, a tablespoon to two tablespoons. I started off, I don't know if I mentioned to you all, I started off with a um, quarter cup of olive oil. What, once we get that oil going, what we're gonna do, and you have a couple options here. With a chicken, you can strip it down and take all the meat off and add it to the soup. I want the bones and everything. I'm gonna chop up the chicken into pieces with the bones and that's gonna go into the soup. The pumpkin, I'm gonna cube the, the carrot, I'm gonna cut up into small pieces. The onion, I'm gonna dice it up. The garlic, I'm just gonna take the skin off. And, but of course, you've got to allow it to cool. If you wanted, you can try to remove the skin. I'll quickly show you, this is hot. But you can try to peel the skin off like so. Once it cools, it will be easier to peel because I find that having um, sweet pepper skin and anything, it doesn't break down and it can choke you. So that is the next few steps we're gonna do. With the drippings from the tray in my soup pot on a medium flame, I've got my Maruga Hill rice. So what I'm gonna do, what I want to do is toast the rice get into the to, to develop some of that flavor from that the pan drippings so we're gonna go in with about a half a cup of that rice and what we want to do is toss it in the oil and allow that to toast yeah this is one of the odd times I'm gonna not recommend that you wash the rice I want the rice dry so I'll take on that nutty flavor and this Maruga Hill rice already has that lovely earthy, yo, real nice flavors. Let's just put it that way. All I'm doing here now is trying to bring out some more of that flavor. It's been a few minutes, so what I want to do now is go in with the onion, the bell pepper, and the garlic. I've removed all of the skin from it, because that's just gonna it's usually put on. We'll move that around. I ended up adding a bit more of the Maruga Hill rice because I want that to be the focus, the sort of starch that pulls everything together. So you'll notice, um, you know, unlike Caribbean, the typical Caribbean soup, which is heavy in ground provisions and stuff like that, you're not seeing that as much here. Well, you're not seeing it at all. Here is where now I'm going to go in with some sea salt. I'm going to hit it a bit more black pepper because remember everything was roasted with that black pepper. We've got the carrots that I chopped up. Same with the pumpkin. And the chicken, I left the skin on and everything because, yeah. It's not, too, not, it's not too often I eat in something with a bit fatty element in it, so so why not? And the only sort of ground provision I like in here is some sweet potato. 
it hasn't been roasted but if you wanted to roast it you can also roast it smolting at this point a heaping yo that's a massive tablespoon so let's call it two tablespoons of Caribbean green seasoning if you want to put some fresh thyme in here you can do that but my green seasoning and if you're new to Caribbean cooking Caribbean green seasoning is just a sort of a puree or a blend of all the herbs we like using in our dishes thyme Spanish thyme shadow benny cilantro culantro well shadow benny is culantro scallions I also add a ton of garlic in there I also add pimento or seasoning peppers in there you'll notice I'm not putting any Caribbean sunshine in here um, no scotch bonnet no habanero none of those things because at the end of the day I want Pali to drink to eat to have some of this soup and this is why I'm doing the soup as well too you notice there's a ton of pumpkin and carrots and sweet potato and all kind of niceness in there so the boy yo it's an easy way to hide things in, in food for kids to eat, for children to eat because even if they don't eat the soup but they drink the broth from it they're still getting all the nutrition and everything else from it clean all water however that is hot water if you wanted to use chicken stock or vegetable stock in here by all means do that but we've already developed a lot of flavor by roasting off that chicken there and I did scrape I'll be honest with you I did scrape the roasting tray in here as well so I'm just going to top this up with water turn the heat up bring it up to a boil and I've got some scallion I'm going to toss in there as well so I'm going to chop that up and toss it in there basically all we have to do bring this up to a boil then reduce the heat to a rolling boil and let it cook until the rice is cooked all the way through because remember just about everything else is cooked and the sweet potato won't take that long to cook it's been going for 40 minutes you can see it's nice and thick with all that Maruga Hill rice in there taste it for salt adjust it everything is fully cooked sup <laughs> soldiers listen if you enjoy this recipe I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing if you've made the recipe take a picture and send it to me email address down here I mean, trying to tell people the email address then butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it and tag me on Instagram at Caribbean pot I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today Irie? At this point, I like to add a bit of parsley just to finish it up. Hit that a quick little stir. I'm going to shut off the heat. And that is it. My roasted chicken maruga hill rice soup. Just full of nice, nice big pieces of chicken. Beautiful little broth. Big pieces of sweet potato. I do hope you all get the opportunity to give this recipe a try. Irie? Irie. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.